Hello and welcome to Love Doing Yoga on this beautiful Wednesday evening. I'm telling you, I'm getting a bit repetitive now talking about the weather, but it is just incredible. So I hope you're managing to enjoy it and make the most of it and celebrate every day that uh, dawns with a beautiful bright sunshine. Uh, so nice practice today, a lot of legwork. You'll be delighted to hear, I'm sure. Um, as always, throughout the practice, listen to your body and only do what feels right for you today. So we'll start our practice today in a seated position. So closing your eyes, soften your body, let go of your day, let go of everything that's going on in your life, just bringing yourself to your mat. Becoming aware of yourself sitting here. Tune into your seat bones, ensuring your weight is evenly distributed across your two seat bones. Sitting up tall, feeling your spine grow from your tailbone all the way up to the crown of your head. Allowing the vertebrae to open up and find space. Soften the shoulders. And then allow your focus to go to your breath. Inhaling through your nose, into your belly. Pause and then exhale and taking three more breaths here like this And then when you're ready, gently open your eyes. And let's just raise the head up to look at the ceiling and then bow it down towards the ground. And up again, gently nodding the head one more time. Feeling the stretch on the front and the back of the neck as you nod. And coming back to centre, let's turn the head to the left as far as it will go, keeping that chin parallel to the ground. And then drawing a little arc with your nose, a little semicircle as you go all the way around to the other side. And again, drawing it back, being aware of your neck, stretching as you gently move your head from side to side. One more time. And then back to the center and drawing your shoulders up to your ears, bring them back and down. And again, up and back and down and one more time. And then let's 
draw that left hand out to the side, bringing the right hand up past your ear and then taking a bend towards the left. So a softness in this left elbow, allowing the whole right side of the body to stretch, letting the gaze and chest look forward and up. Each breath just helping you deepen that bend. And bringing yourself back to center before taking it to the other side. Being really aware of the left side of your body and how it feels as you deepen the bend. And then coming back up to the center. If you're on a block, pop yourself off it and just swing around to the long side of the mat, having your right foot uh, parallel to the short side, your left, uh, sorry, your right shin parallel to the short side, your left shin parallel to the long side. And then let's just take a twist to the right. So you're feeling the body twist, but also the whole front of the chest open, the left hip extend. And take two more breaths here. And then coming back to center, let's take that to the other side. So getting those legs into position. So this time your left leg is parallel with that short side and your right shin parallel with the long side. And then taking the twist, stretching the upper body, extending the hip. Feeling the stretch in that right quad. Two more breaths here. And coming back to the center, make your way into tabletop. So having those shoulders over the wrists, the hips over the knees, the feet straight out behind you, pressing away from the mat, being nice and active, engaging the core here. And let's do a couple of cat cows. So synchronizing with your breath, inhaling into your cow. And then exhaling through to your cat. And three more times. Really working with your breath, connecting with it through the movement. coming back into your tabletop. Curling the toes here, push the hips back to the heels, coming up onto the knees, slowly making your way into a downward dog, pedaling those legs as you start to waken them up. Just letting them begin to stretch out 
and finding your way to your downward dog and your point of stillness here pushing those hips back lengthening through the spine ears and shoulders as wide apart as they can be two more breaths here And then coming down onto your knees and make your way all the way down to your belly. Placing one arm on top of the other and let your forehead rest here on your arms in a nice crocodile pose. So just a gentle little back bend. One more breath here. And then bring the arms down by your sides and just raise both legs up. Holding them up here, if you can, for three breaths. Really good for your core, lifting them up and for your quads. And then lowering them down. Bring those arms out in front of you and let's raise the right leg, left arm, and then swapping it over. And over. Keep the head raised for it. And once more on each side. And then bringing it down. Coming back, draw those hands either side of your chest. Pushing on up into your tabletop once more. And from here, making your way into your downward dog. And in your downward dog. Let's just come down, if you can, onto your forearms. So as you do this, you're Heels will likely rise. Your hips will move a little bit forward. You'll find a deeper stretch in the legs and also that the shoulders have to do a little bit more work. One more breath here. And now if you want to really challenge yourself, step those legs out and come into a plank on your forearms. Let's take three breaths here if you can. At any time, if you would need a break, just let the knees come down. And then bring the knees down and push back into a child's pose. Really well done if you manage to hold that pose. Two challenging poses there. The forearm downward dog and plank. One more breath here. And 
then let's make your way up to um, tabletop and step it up to come to the top of the mat. Stepping the right leg forward, bring that left leg back, keeping them in line, the heels in line with each other. Having this right knee over the right ankle, we're going to keep the knee bent, bring the arms into a T, reach forward and windmill down into a triangle with that knee bent. Let the gaze look upwards. One more breath here. Drawing the left hand down, frame that right foot, swivel on the back, left foot, and step that right foot forward. Back into your downward dog. And coming down onto your forearms. One more breath here. And then let's step it back into our plank and if you find it useful you can always clasp the hands together but keep those shoulders over the elbows and the elbows just that keeps them shoulder width apart two more breaths Bringing the knees down, pushing back into your child's pose. And then once again, making your way to tabletop, stepping it up to the top of the mat. This time, bending that left knee, keeping the knee over the ankle, step the right foot back, having them uh, heels in line with each other, arms in a T, reaching forward and coming down into your triangle. Nice strengthening exercise for that left leg while the right leg is stretching. One more breath here. And drawing that right hand down, framing the uh, left foot. Step the right foot up uh, to meet the left, heel toe them together so the toes are together, the heels are a little bit apart and then just keep the body halfway, draw those arms out into a T. One more breath here. And let the hands come down to the feet and deepen the body into a full forward fold. Listen to your body. 
Bend your knees if you need to. One more breath here. And then let the hips sink down, the knees bend, but those knees stay behind the toes. Draw the torso and arms up, keeping the legs as they are. Let's take three breaths here in this chair pose. coming all the way up to stand, bringing those arms down by your sides and just step the feet out so they are hip width apart. And from here, raise the arms up, sweep them out to the side, forward fold, let's step the right leg back and rise up into a low lunge. Bringing the hands down to frame the foot. Curl those toes, the right toes, lift the knee into your runner's lunge. And then just hop that right foot forward a little so you can plant it firmly on the mat. Bend the left knee so it's over that left ankle, keep it there, and rise up to a warrior one. Then hinging at the hips, coming forward over this left leg, stretch it out. Bending that left knee again, step the right foot forward and come all the way up to stand. Bring those hands into prayer at the chest. Good. Let's try that on the other side. Hands coming up, sweep out to the side, forward fold. Step the left leg back, low lunge. And then framing the foot, making our way into runner's lunge. So lifting that left knee off the mat, looking forward. Letting the left foot come fully in contact with the mat as you draw the body up, raising the arms. Warrior one. And again, hinging at the hips to frame the foot. Lengthen that right leg, forward fold over the front leg. Bending that right knee, step the left foot forward, staying in your forward fold.
and then make your way down onto both knees and swinging around to come onto your back with your knees bent. Bringing the arms out into a T, let the knees go to the right and the gaze to the left. Taking that over to the other side. And when you're ready, coming back to the center, hug those knees into the chest. Ready. Let those legs come out long. The arms down by your sides with your palms facing upwards. Softening your shoulder blades into the mat. Let the feet flop out to the side. And allow the body to totally release. Releasing your feet and your legs. Releasing your glutes and pelvis. Releasing the whole back of your body and shoulder blades. The front of your body, chest and shoulders. Releasing your arms and your hands. your head, face, jaw and chin, the whole of your body, just let it go. Taking time here for gratitude for something or someone you're feeling particularly grateful for today. And let your attention go to your breath. As you inhale through your nose into your belly, Pause, and then exhaling through your nose. Keeping that focus on your breath for the next few minutes. 